So we had to go down to uh, to Beverly Hills there and, and meet with the kids um, new commercial agent. Mm -hmm. And um, and she was so cute. Yeah, she was. She had this British accent. And yeah. she was and she'd say things like wicked. And, and she said to one of the girls, I love your nail varnish. Yes. <laughs> nail varnish. I love that. Like, it was just so proper. It, she, yeah. And she had the greatest British accent. Yeah. It was one of the it was one of the cool British accents. Right. It wasn't like, blimey. It, right. wasn't, it wasn't that cockney accent. Yeah, it wasn't the Conan O'Brien fake accent. Right. Or the one where you don't know, are they from New Zealand or Australia or where are they from? That costs a blue dune, it does. It costs a sixpence, it will. That's uh, that, whole, that whole cockney accent. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, th those yeah. are like the those are like oh, the British funny. people you kind of you picture or like the American equivalent of sitting outside Target. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> My kids need to eat. They do. <laughs> so, <laughs> but she didn't have that accent. She no, had, it she was had that she had that very proper mm -hmm. and British royalty accent. Yeah, she keeps her clothes in the wardrobe. Yeah, I like that yeah. too. Wardrobe. Oh, another thing about it, she was one of those black Brits. She was. Those are always the weirdest people because you don't expect, you see a black person and they start talking with the British accent and you're like, Lennox Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, when did, what happened right, here? Right. What, you expect all black people to be from Africa? You do. <laughs> you either talk in clicks or you talk in... <laughs> Or English. Right, huh? Or English. But when American. you see a black person English. with a British accent, mm. it just jars the mind. 